Hey YouTube! So as most of you know, I got back from the Warrior Games last week. Um, I'm really hoping I can actually upload the full feature video that they did of me onto YouTube because the Facebook link thing, it gets messy, whatever. I really have no excuse of why I haven't filmed lately other than I've just been lazy. I wanted to take this opportunity to make more of an informational video for people who hear me say things sometimes about my leg. You know, maybe you're going through an amputation soon and you kind of just want to know what's going on because trust me, I was there a couple months ago trying to figure out on YouTube what to expect when I was going through my amputation. Without further ado, let's talk stump socks. When you have a socket made, it is cast to your leg. However, in the first couple months after amputation, your leg will shrink and swell a ton. Your options when your leg shrinks that much is make a new socket every time, which is time consuming and expensive, or use stump socks. On a side note, I got these new Converse today. Look at, I love them. They're gray and there's like gold on them too, because I put on Converse this morning. And as you can see, only one of them is worn out. This is my left foot, obviously. This is my right foot. I bought these shoes right before they found my tumor and before I had to stop wearing tight shoes like this. So I really, I continued to wear this on my knee scooter, on my crutches, on whatever, whatever method of transportation I was using. And these ones pretty much look like they're brand new out of the box. So again, for comparison, I got this leg made about three weeks ago and I've shrunk a considerable amount. I have been resting today, so it's not a ton right now, but I'll give you a basic idea of how it works. With my sealant liner, you spray it. This is just a water alcohol mix. And open up my leg. And this is just, for anybody who hasn't watched my channel before, this is just an arm sleeve that I put on my leg just to make it a little more pretty, I guess. I don't know. Stick your leg in. Oh, yep. Did you see how easily that went in? It shouldn't go in that easy. Stick your leg in. Oh, God, that's right. Oh, it's slipping off. <laughs> so, if you look at this, if I were to take my hand, I can fit my entire hand into my socket with my stump. That shouldn't happen. How a socket is built, you should never ever have weight on the bottom of your stump because one, that really hurts. So what they do is they shape it to your legs so your muscles and tendons on the upper part of your leg are actually holding it up. When you have that much space, your leg can't do that. So, handy dandy stump socks. So each sock is a different ply worth. It goes one, three, or five. At least those are the ones that I have. Five is blue, green is three, and I have a gray one, which is one. Right now, with how much space I needed, honestly, it's a guessing game. Right now, I know I need at least five because it was an entire hand. That, that's a considerable amount. I'll start with eight. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, then I'll go down. So what you do, mine, I actually cut off the bottom because I have the seal and liner. So you can't cover the seal because that's what keeps your leg on. So you slip it on your leg, actually flip the seal up tuck it under, so that's five, plus three makes eight. And you fold it back over, so now you still have access to the seal. I also have the bottom part of the sock, so these actually came as one full sock, but I cut them apart for my seal. And now I have essentially a full sock with my seal still exposed. So now, once again, Spray it again with my water alcohol mix. Kind of have to force it in a little bit. Once I stop hearing so much air, I'm just I'm pushing up air on the back. My leg fits, it's not slipping out. Got like pull on it. It's not coming out. You get the 
idea. Yes, that's how stump socks work. So far, I've been in this, the seal and liner, for about three weeks, and so far I like it a lot better than the pin. Don't get me wrong, some people love how the pin works. For me, I feel like the seal and liner fits a little bit better than my leg. Um, it feels like my prosthetic is actually part of my leg, whereas the pin lock kind of feels like an extra element. So if I were to kick my leg, it would take an half a second afterwards for my leg to follow, and I just didn't like that. Every leg system has its benefits. Side note, I wanted to thank Footless Joe. She's a great YouTuber. You should check out her channel. She has no idea that I'm saying this, so, you know, here we are. But honestly, she has helped me a lot through my process of amputation, getting ready for it, and she's going through a lot of struggles right now, so if you could go and support her, I'm sure it would mean the world to her. But yeah, she made these shirts that says, I can see you staring at me, because let's be honest, I have one leg, people are bound to stare. Either that or my incredibly good looks. Or the fact they spilled spinach artichoke dip on it earlier. Thanks, Joe, for the shirt. Um, she has an entire line of them. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'll try to kind of mix up what kind of videos I'm filming. Um, I think I'm gonna start incorporating a little bit more music into my videos because I've kind of strayed away from my music for a while and it's kind of sad. So maybe I'll start vlogging a little bit more including music. That's all I got for you. I hope you guys learned something and thanks for watching. Bye.